Dude, I wish I had your problem. I mean, being skinny is so much better than being fat and obese. Like so many people wish that they had your exact problem. It's probably what a lot of people are telling you. And see, I understand because I was in your same situation a few years ago where for some reason I just couldn't seem to put on any weight. So in this video, I'm going to specifically show you how you can put on lean muscle mass in a short amount of time while still being able to live your life, enjoy it, and have fun. The first step that you need to take to start putting on some lean muscle tissue is gonna be not cutting out junk food. And when I say that, take it with a grain of salt. Obviously, if you go out and eat pizzas, ice creams, and uh, all this highly processed food, yeah, you're probably not going to get much muscle from that. You'll just be putting on fat. What we want is muscle. In order to get that muscle tissue, you need to be eating foods that are higher in protein. Some foods that are gonna be higher in protein are gonna be like your meats, your eggs, um, dairy, that sort of stuff is gonna be great. However, you can still get protein that is in certain junk foods, right? So when you're eating pizza, yes, you are going to have a higher calorie surplus because pizza is just more calorically dense, but then you're also gonna get some protein with the, let's say a meat lover's pizza or something like that, right? So making sure that you're in a calorie surplus is needed, obviously focusing on protein is gonna be a priority. The second way for you to put on some muscle is going to be drinking your calories. It gets hard whenever you're just trying to be in a calorie surplus all the time, like your stomach just can't handle it. And so really what I found is when I started drinking my calories, stuff became a lot more easy, right? Because I'm not constantly putting food in my mouth and trying to chew all the time. And it just gets monotonous where it's like, you feel like every single hour of your waking day is eating food. Right, so if you can actually make a protein smoothie, which is what I typically do, adding in some milk, some fruits, some actual like protein powder, maybe some creatine, that sort of stuff. When you put that into a shake, it goes down so much faster, so much easier, and it's genuinely just like enjoyable to sip on from time to time. Which brings us into our third strategic way for you to put on muscle, and that's going to be doing more cardio. Now, hold on, I know you probably think, well, Jake, dude, cardio kills your gains. Like you're gonna be losing muscle, you're gonna be losing weight. Why would I do cardio if I want to gain weight? So just like you stuffing your face full of food and your, your stomach's getting constantly bogged down, right? You become full, your body becomes satiated and you genuinely just don't want any more food. And so in order to crave more food, in order to get your body to understand, hey, okay, we're, we're gonna need more fuel, more food, right? You need to be burning calories. When your body burns calories, what it does is it sends signals to your brain, to your stomach of like, hey, yo, we're using some energy. We need more energy back. And so what happens is when you do slow, steady state cardio, I recommend like 20 minutes a day, just walking on the treadmill. When you do that, what happens is your body's like, yo, we're moving a lot. We're, we're gonna need more energy for later on when he comes back and does this again. So it sends signals to your stomach, to your brain that says, hey, we're hungry, right? We need, like our body needs more food. And so it actually becomes easier to eat more food the more cardio that you do. And I'm not saying go and run marathons because yes, eventually it's going to be to where you're burning too many calories and you can't intake enough. But what it's going to do is it's going to allow your metabolism metabolism to do the work, your body to burn those calories that it needs, and then you can put them back on through eating food, through feeling good and not feeling bogged down with all of this crap in your digestive system and just really just feeling overly full. Which then brings us to our fourth point, and it's the fact that you need to be drinking water. Yes, we talked about drinking liquid calories, but water specifically is what allows your body to process all of this food a lot more easily, a lot more efficiently. See, water is how we hydrate our bodies. Our body is like mostly water in the first place. And so uh, what happens is your body holds this water in weight. And so if you want to put on more weight, what you wanna do is you want your muscles to be absorbing that water. One of the reasons why I highly, highly, highly recommend creatine is because it allows your body to hold that water weight more filling your muscles. Think about it like a balloon, right? A water balloon. When a water balloon doesn't have much water in it, it's very small, it's very 
like tiny. What happens when you fill it up? It's the same balloon, it's the same rubber, the same structure, but it fills up and it becomes bigger. All of the tissue, all of the actual rubber itself is the same. It just fills up. Your muscles are the same as that water balloon. See, when you fill them with more water, when you have creatine added to that and you're allowed to hold more water, they actually fill up. You, you appear more full, which will then very fast allow your body to hold more weight, hold more muscle, and eventually get to that physique that you're looking for. Lastly, the fifth step to putting on more muscle and getting from your skinny body to that Greek god physique that you're really looking for is going to be actually pushing yourself in the gym. See, obviously, you know you need to be training. You need to be doing like certain reps, certain sets, all of these things. But really and truly, if you want to put on muscle, the best way to do it is training hard, really breaking down the muscle because in order for muscle to build, it needs to be broken down and then build back stronger. Breaking them down by doing supersets, by doing drop sets, by adding more weight, adding more reps, by genuinely just implementing what we call progressive overload and training harder than last time, continuing to build on your last set, on your last rep, on your last exercise, build, build, build until you are completely broken down. That's why soreness is good because you are feeling that breakdown of the muscles. Make sure to stretch, break up that lactic acid, fuel your body correctly with protein, more calories being a surplus, and overall, you are going to put on weight put on muscle in a very short amount of time. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to see a way to optimize your hormones to make sure that you're gonna put on some muscle mass, go ahead and click this video right here.